So there are a number of neurological symptoms that are uh, being seen in patients who've had COVID, especially, especially after 12 weeks when we start calling it long COVID symptoms. And um, the greatest number of people talk about uh, something called brain fog. And um, Mayo Clinic will describe it very similarly to something called chemo brain for patients who are undergoing chemotherapy. It's this uh, fogginess, grogginess, um, lack of ability to concentrate. And uh, these patients will oftentimes have uh, difficulty staying awake. They feel like they need to take several naps during the day. And uh, we, we Consider, there's still a lot of trials that need to be done in terms of the, uh, the best practices, in terms of medications, but um, a lot of this has to do with supportive group therapy for these patients to be very uh, beneficial. And then uh, in addition, there may be some medications that still need further clinical trials but are promising, things like methylphenidate and memantine, denepazil, those types of medications may be useful in those types of patients. So patients who are more likely to have or exhibit symptoms of long COVID are people who have had significant acute COVID symptoms. And so if you didn't necessarily have strong COVID symptoms, it doesn't mean that you're not likely, but you're at least less likely to have um, significant issues with long COVID. Now, that being said, the group the age group that is apparently most affected by long COVID are that um, 35 to 49 year old age group. They're the ones that will um, discuss how their symptoms affect their lives the most. Um, even though the greater than 65 age group is the one that would be more likely to have long COVID. So it's a, it's a difference in terms of the group that has long COVID versus those who are most affected by the symptoms of long COVID.